Look here! The face him! Uh, I've noticed in the recordings that the audio has been a bit soft, so I've upped the sound of the game a bit much. It should still be limited to not, well, out, <laughs> out sound us, but it should be about three decibels louder now. So hopefully that'll make things a bit more easier to hear without uh, us possibly blowing out your ears from <laughs> turning up the audio too much. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Last time, we got into the slaughterhouses, and yeah, we have found <laughs> more than clear evidence of human trafficking. And yeah, the doms are here as well. We have taken two of three pictures needed, so we still need to get to where the last one needs to be made. And I'm, it seems I haven't been able to fix the slowdown. Still, I'm still not used to it. <laughs> Okay, now where is the last one? Okay, it's in the center area again. Basically, each of these pictures is of the central area, but from a different angle. Oh, it's one of those again. Uh, yeah, I haven't been able to identify what has been causing the slowdown at points. I think it might be something in the settings. The problem is that... Uh, I'm running the game through D, uh, DX window, or DirectX window. Oop. And, and, yeah, for it to work, or just for the settings to work, uh, they also have to be run through that, but they don't seem to want to start up anymore for some reason. So, uh, I fear that if I start messing around with that, I might break the game as well. And, yeah, it took a bit of work to get it working as is right now, because... Um, yeah, if I if I get things a bit wrong with that, I'd end up with... Uh, yeah, I, I'd end up with the game getting resolution glitches. Ooh. In the sense that, well, text would be showing up in the wrong places. Like, the game would be acting as if it were using two different resolutions. That sounds like quite annoying. Yeah. So we'll have to we'll have to live with the bits of slowdown here and there. Ad count identification. Okay. A set of pods completely restores your vehicle's energy. A uh, Starkos restores one heart of your... The repair pod there restores one wrench of your... Uh, box empty. of K-Bubs completely restores your energy. And yeah, we'll just have to hope that it doesn't show up in two important areas. So far during boss fight it hasn't. Probably because, well, the boss arenas have been pretty small so far. So I presume there shouldn't be any issues with that. Also, hello. I only uh, remember one boss fight. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I like that he actually stopped and charged again. Okay. And yeah, we can use that one, but <laughs> we'll have to have. Uh, Double H will have to de break the junction box again if we want to get out from it. So for now, we can't go. Oh, I think we. I see where we need to go. Okay. I'm going to explore the sector over there. We'll follow each other in parallel. Be careful. Probably should have looked up uh, what other work the voice actors have done since this game. Since I, I can't really idea. say I can't really say I recognize their voices in other works and okay for a moment I thought there was a alpha section going past there but no he's just over there. Intruder, intruder. Then the wrong button, Jade. What the and heck there is we. with this code now? Hmm? Recorded. 
that grenade he threw in bounced right back out <laughs> into his face. And really, you said you were going to explore the place over there, Double H. Uh, so instead, you're just blazing around at the, <laughs> the laser grids. Uh. Okay, this time... Yeah, let's make sure he's not watching when we go in. Actually, we he's too far away for us to get over there, so we instead... Yeah. <laughs> That'll have to do. Uh, go and... fix the frog here now. Hmm? I think I, I think somehow I would do the the, 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 the time instead of putting away the, my headphone, the volume on the headphone may have risen up a little bit. Enough to affect with the mic that I think my mic stopped to direct to you speaking on occasion when it, when it kept flashing when I did not speak. Okay. But I think I fixed that now. So it should not be hearing you and just me now. Yeah, computer's being weird. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me so something it, that's it is, new. It is set to react to voices. And it, it, and it would make sense that it react to you as a voice if it were able to pick you up through my headphones. Yeah, I do have a voice after all. I use it a bit yeah. too much, probably. Well, during streams. Normally, I don't use too much. Mm. Yeah, I don't speak much in real life. And I used to be a blabbermouth as a kid. Okay, we have one patrolling around. We have one turning back and forth. Let's see, what is your pattern? Oh, okay. we're just... No, is that... Okay, no idea why it's doing that. I guess it's, this could be weird. It has been plenty of times as well, and this one is just walking in circles. Okay. Yeah, then again, at least my head is not flashing over important uh, text box or anything. Okay, this spot should be safe. We are in the shadow, quote unquote. <laughs> So it does make us a bit harder to see. Like he, he should totally be able to see us right now, but because this bit is counted as shadowed, he doesn't. I would not be surprised if those helmets give uh, poor uh, vision. Yeah. <laughs> and we we seen the mutations. It wouldn't be surprising at all if uh, some of those tentacles grew through their eyes. Oh, he, what? Here, what? No. Bung you that for later. <laughs> I did not need that mental image. Okay, I remember this bit, or uh, this box at least. So, let's put you over here. There's really no need for this to be a triangle key thing, but okay. But, yeah, ba the simple trick. We kick the thing, take the fuse, but that disables the, the elevator, so we'd be stuck down here without it have, being powered. So by putting the box on the elevator, we still have a way out. So there we go. Now, where is that fuse needed, though? So let's take a look up here. I recognize places quite easily, but I don't remember every little bit about this game. Okay, this one is going to be with a more difficult patrolling pattern on that guy, I think. Or not, he's just running, he's just walking circles around that. Okay. We just need for, to. Yeah, we need to wait a bit for them to line up. So neither of them is looking. Hmm. Technically, I think you could probably sneak by that guy by sticking to his right side, or not to his right side now, and moving once he turns. But you'd have a good chance that this guy would spot you then. Okay. And turn. There we go. 
And now we quickly... There we go. <laughs> I'll be flicking this. And... Yeah, they can see through these, even though we clearly can. <laughs> That's something weird? But they can hear stuff like that. But yeah, it's a big ass uh, security issue if you can't see through green, uh, green, green gra uh, glass, and your place is filled with the stuff. Okay, just for safety. Now then, what is here? Oh. Yeah, we can take this guy out, I think. He's far enough away. Hey, hey. You all right? Apparently not. <laughs> yep, use the key. There we go. Alright, this is where we put the fuse. They have quite... They've got a huge range then on noticing each other being in trouble, though... They don't actually seem to care to... Never mind. Keep your they, eyes they... Peeled. they probably oh. have uh, some com uh, oh. system. Oh, hello. Hey. 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 There's a you border right? here. You, you can see... Going. Can you see that tiny line of dots next to Jade? That's uh. the border past the other two... Past which the other two are loaded in. So, technically, it... He can't get in here. If, if we move oh, past uh, here, the other de alarm. they despawn. It seems. Wait, how did you get fixed? The other guy couldn't seem to get near you. What the heck? Oh well. Um, I'm thinking this just leads over here. Yeah. Anything we can get here is just some extra credits, or units. And it opens up a little small, a little crawl space instead of the, just deactivating those. And hi, Chat HS. You doing well? Oh, <clears throat> Okay, no enemies nearby. The only danger here is likely to be underneath those when they drop down. And while well, the blue lights for our eyes. Let's see. Oop. Nope. And we're glitching the camera out of the bounds a bit there. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. We pulled this trick before. And there we go. Now, why would we want to be down? Well, we can go... Okay, we can go... <clears throat> we get to the other side here. Okay, you're doing good. That's good to hear. Um, yeah, I haven't managed to fix whatever was causing the slowdowns. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to live with it, sadly. And here we have another PA-1. Bravo, Yid. And that's blocked. Okay, he, then. He's a Bravo Jade, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do we say something wrong with, like, the one entire word? <laughs> yeah, Sakuna does have a bit of an accent on him. Uh, break the game again with the camera. And... Heck. What do we find through here, then? Oop. Hello. Okay. So, see anything yet? Negative. Nothing compromising anyway. We have to find a passage to the central hall. Okay. I think I remember what... I think I remember a bit that's coming up. So, just dodge the most obvious landmines ever. Uh, are you I going to dump? I may just hold what the heck is going on with my mic. 
And that being? It's the damn fan! I have by the door! Every <laughs> time it spins over here, I think it blows hard enough into the mic. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I definitely recognize this bit. Look out, Miss Jane! Because these things. Uh oh. Trilobitis Sultan. Uh, uh, Sultans. Trilobites! Okay, I filed the picture. Yep. Only these are spiky and jumpy. They look like little horseshoe crabs. Uh, I actually. I'm going to need to be our B for a moment. I'm getting a call. Uh, okay. Uh, Mm. I suspect we likely extended the stream depending on how long he is uh, on the call. with the mic why is it doing like this okay sorry about that Putting the headset back on. Uh, back. Yeah, that was timing. <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing too important. No emergency or anything. Uh, a family call. It's basically. <clears throat> Heck is it with, okay, it's apparently not a fan doing. It. Okay, I don't know why. What is going on with my mic end at the moment? I suspect it's Discord being weird. Discord again. Yeah. Like, that's why I'm sounding fine and just doing the little flashing with my icon and it's fine. That's why my icon doesn't give people electricity, of course. Yeah. Okay, the reason these things are memorable is because of that. They have an annoying habit of jumping over you the moment you try to hit them. I'm pretty sure this is the only place they actually appear. Okay. Yeah, they, they instantly just jump over you. They only do about half a damage, part of damage when they do get a hit off. My respects, Miss Jade. Good teamwork. But yeah, a memorable little set piece. Not really a set piece, but yeah, not nothing too dangerous. Okay. Ten four. Something here. <laughs> the timing a little bit off. 
But you didn't you didn't hit it, uh, double yes, H. Sir. There we go. You'll come out in the central hall. We'll meet up later. Good luck. Okay. Let's see. So now that we are here, let's take a quick check with the Okay. Oh, I'd forgotten this. Zero you can actually, yeah, activate them to see if there are any still on the air in the area. But there aren't. Oh. Intruder, intruder. That didn't last long. Oh, uh, Bobby, Bobby. Command, don't clear it. Authorization. Accorded. Uh, okay, they're not sending this thing in here because it would it, be a. We'd be a bit, uh, between a bit of a rock and a, a hard place. <laughs> Getting stuck between that zapper and, well, the other zapper. Okay. Wait, I heard a, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, but... We're stuck between a sappy place and another sappy place? That's a new one. Okay, no need to stay crouched. Okay. Again, I don't think you... I don't think you really need to sneak after them. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Wait. How are we supposed... Good question. I'm pretty sure that... No, hello. Uh, let's heal up a bit. We have plenty of healing items. Huh. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to sneak after that guy. The other two aren't turning around. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, I see it already, I see it already. We just hide around the corner here. Until he passes by again. Insert pink panther theme song. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna sing it, but I don't. I don't think I remember the notes. No deal that doesn't okay, get copyright so, right. Okay, they definitely can hear you just normal walking. <laughs> you just have to get really close for it. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, with the call, uh, I'll add in an extra 10 minutes today to make up for that. Let's see. Do we have anything new with these? Right. No, we don't. I told the people earlier that I suspected you would be doing that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, very easy. <laughs> like really what else did he expect getting a <laughs> using that for, as a, an outpost or lookout point <laughs> uh, okay let's just break these empty out the snack bar <laughs> Starkos restores one heart of your energy. There we go. Only had to listen to it one, uh, to its annoying voice once. And it just went skydiving. Do you mean yourself or? Uh... Huh? Ooh. Something's over there. I was about to say that guy and his colleague here. And oh. down for a swim. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Have a beautiful day. <laughs> now, seeing as this is a slaughterhouse, I'm going to assume uh, those waters aren't yeah, those waters aren't too clean. <laughs> Ew. 
Um, anyways, HS, uh, how is the audio balancing? Uh, I've 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 upped the sound of the game a bit, three decibels about. Ooh. I hope it isn't too loud. And yeah, that's the last thing that we need a photo of. Huh. And somehow, neither of them sees us here. Okay, it's good. That's good to hear. Now we... Hmm. I could probably take these out. Let's actually give that a shot. Oop, well, that didn't work. I'm going. It... <laughs> oh, right. from over Run. There. How Run. blind are they? Run. I was right in front of them at, at two points there, and they still didn't see us. <laughs> uh. Did they give up? Yep, of course they gave up. <laughs> they are sending out the sniffer drone. Sniffer Ugh. drone. Partner in distress. Ow! And Wait. there we go. Did you hit both with one <laughs> shot? Nope, the other one wasn't fixed yet. Huh. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> it takes a bit for them to fix it. Oh, but... They just kicked him in the groin. <laughs> <laughs> well, they would totally deserve it. And, yeah. Suck off a guy. Your report is incredible, Shawnee. We'll print the Iris 514 right away. I'll send it to the governor. She'll accept to help you again. Oh, come on. I'm food in my beard again. Might as well put this there, open this up, and I believe, yes, this is how we get out. Ooh. That must be the update. Shawnee, Double H, we've received your pictures. You've done an exceptional job. Meet us back, you know where, as soon as you can. And yeah, the w something I wanted to actually bring up last time is a bit of the what I suspect is a part of the Dom's hierarchy. Like we we saw that we saw that creepy thing that actually communicated with one of the alphas oop, back at the factory. And yeah, and we also have just the, the sarcophagi. So I'm guessing that's, well, that's very clearly at least two stages in them, with the sarcophagi being empty shells, like shock troops and such, with the, uh, which drain, get, <clears throat> which drain the life force of victims they catch to, well, sustain themselves, whilst the big ones, the important ones, the, well, they did call it, it the alpha did call it highness, or something like that, oops. <laughs> um, I'm guessing with they they infest or infect pearls which yeah they can spawn more of themselves it seems or at least throw out their offspring i'm guessing uh, that's one way to get welcomed into the world welcome to the world go fight this uh, reporter <laughs> well that's one way to stop life And yeah, in one way, by collecting all of the pearls, we're also purifying them and denying the doms of any more, well, higher... Yeah, I'm going to... I guess I'm going to use the term general for now. We're denying them their uh, upper hierarchy, more, well, hosts. The alpha sections and the doms behind the kidnappings. Exclusive report in issue number 514 from Iris. Well, yeah, now we can get out of this place. And let's see, that's the way that's blocked. So we just go over here. Boink. Oh. And out. We're on the right track. The exit isn't far. Actually, can we get a picture of it like this? Yes, we can. That's in the slaughterhouse district, right? Okay, we'll figure it out. 
Be careful. <laughs> uh, that was pretty crappy quality on that. And whoa, they, less quali crappy quality on them sending an answer. We went as fast as we could. Here's the code. Congratulations on your report. No, this. I get the feeling none of the codes are randomized. Because I think I recognize this one as well. N6 V7. We went as fast yep. Yeah, but you can only write them in once you've done the objective, right? Correct? The governor's taking a lot of risks by helping us. I hope we can pay her back one day. I hope yeah. so too. But for the time being, we have to get back to Iris. We need to bring the team up to date. <laughs> yeah, I, I presume they would have they have some blockers in place that even if you have the right code, it will be counted as invalid. Uh, if you haven't completed your objectives. And I guess I was wrong because, well, here's one of these little jackasses. They look more like killer version of horseshoe crabs. And I don't know what it looks like. But the troubles I know don't have tails. Uh, yeah, they don't have those in Ark, and let's see, I think it's this way to the exit. Yeah, they don't yep. don't have it, uh, those in real life either. Horseshoe crab does, however, do. Horseshoe crab's tails are a bit more stiff. Yeah, and you don't really want to see the underside of a live one, because they get, they are freaky as all Look hell. Look at that, another boat sunk by the Doms. Uh, uh, That's... Was that an audio glitch? No, it was her just notifying on this, you know, on the, the cargo trace here. Uh, no, no, no. It, it sounds like she said dongs instead of doms. <laughs> but I, didn't, I didn't hear it like that, and I, once more I used the wrong button because I was trying to bring up... Oh. Yeah, it's one of these again. Uh oh. I thought it almost ate you there. Wait, he got. He got arm cannons. Okay, I won't let him out of my sight. But he's not using them. And the controls are being weird. Hey, stop wiggling around. Okay. Now that we have the, you know, the cannon, though, we can actually, well, lock on a lot easier with it as well. And I'm not sure if this... Oh, that is... Okay, those were not going to where I wanted to. Oh. I don't know if locking onto it multiple times actually does more damage to it or not. Okay, I guess it is. Well, my observation of this, of this creature so far... I think they might have a lot of things in common with uh, Tyranids from Warhammer. Yeah. As in, they are alive, the weapons are alive, they are alive, and attached to them. And a bit of a surprise if the ammunition is also alive. Okay, okay not going to jump over that. But I, I, I really paint this on Tyranids, and I feel a bit disgusted to see that ammunition cable to the guns were connected to their bellies. Yeah, there we go. Wait, did um, you do that? Yep. There we go, another pearl free. Uh, I'm guessing these things are also in the higher hierarchy because they're basically their warships, it seems. <laughs> Yeah, it's just uh, like a Kabuto with the horseshoe crabs. Yeah, do. Yeah, the little freak over there on the side, do Kabuto? It doesn't have the tail spike, though, that the horseshoe crab. They just look like a tailless horseshoe crab. Okay, now, what I was trying to do was line up a shot on this. I think this is a different whale than the other one on the other side of town. Yep, it is a different one. Megathera Borealis. Oh, so basically, an arctic whale? What? You found it? I was convinced that it was simply an old fisherman's tail. <laughs> uh, not arctic, but 
I guess you could say Nordic. I'm guessing by that reaction from the science center, it's it's this world's Moby Dick. <laughs> okay, there's a pearl on that island over there, and there's an animal that way. Oh, it's another flying manta. It's a red one this time. Manta Magnificence. Okay, I've funny. added it to my archives. Of all hmm? the sea animals, okay. many... Your role of film is finished. Sorry, I <laughs> forgot it filled I'll up this. I'll transfer a pearl to you, Jade. And I'll recharge your film. Uh, yeah, go on. Uh, let's see, of all uh, sea animals, Manta seems to be very dearly loved to use as a sky animal. Like, I've seen several anime with flying manta rays. We have seen Gilbert's 2 with flying mentas, and now here as well. Yep. Now, they do look like wings, the sword. Yeah, um, and, they, and hmm. if you people see them swim on the water, it does look more like they are flying than swimming. Uh, yeah, there's 49 pearls to find it <laughs> left in the game. Uh, Hi, Jade. Just a reminder, my favorite pearl is still up for grabs. Or are you scared of getting wiped out? Meet me in the bar, if you're ready to take a licking, that is. And apparently Francis is British. <laughs> I'm not sure that was British to begin with. <laughs> okay. So almost Australian? But yeah, not. Austro British. <laughs> Maybe it was New uh, Zealand? I, I don't know, but it's so... Something about it's so annoying. Yeah, he's supposed don't, to don't, be. Yeah, he's on a rather... Arrogant? You are yep. now leaving territorial Ooh. waters. Uh, yeah, that's how, what happens if you go too far away from uh, everything. The uh, Alphas have, a, have, a, have another perimeter <laughs> security set up. And Don't yeah. Get away, Miss Jade. Again, they're just going to steal enough for a candy bar from us. And off we go. I mean, this time they have lasers across the waters that we'll have to jump over here and there. And I believe this is the toughest of uh, the, the toughest of these chases, because I believe there are only four. I mean, yeah, that, that was close. Ooh. I'm surprised Ow. we didn't lose the cannon. <laughs> okay, we're probably going to need to use a boost at least once. Okay, we've got good. this one. I just really realized. Hmm? This is basically a, a tank that can build water. Yep. A Hoovercraft tank. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure people have come up with ideas for the, uh, that at least once. Yeah, the modern Hoovercraft military is being for troop transport. Have, well, I think they have some rifle attachments, or something, but nothing like a cannon. And there we go. Done. And now I'm reminded of the hovercraft in battle, <laughs> in the newest Battlefield uh, game, uh, which are completely overpowered because they managed to screw up the physics and it can go straight up freaking walls. So, yeah, there's hovercraft on the tops of freaking skyscrapers in that game. Oh, bloody heck. Yeah, if these, uh, like, good uh, hover tanks are usually in sci-fi, like... Okay, example for a very now old game. Territorial waters. Final warning. Uh, let's see. Tiberian Sun. They have Hoover tanks that are shooting sound waves. Yep, the sonic cannons. Uh, I actually saw some videos about uh, uh, the Tiberium universe uh, tech. Uh, a lot recently. Someone has... I forget their name. Their, I forget Hild? the name of their channel. Hmm? Jet Hild? Yeah, Jet, Jet Hold. Jet, uh, he's been doing some uh, videos on this Command & Conquer games. 
I I've been watching them. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we need to go back to Iris. There are still some pearls around the place. Uh, still plenty of pearls around the place, actually. But yeah, let's go check up with the rest. Funny. Right, like, I found it funny that it seems that me and Hillian by accident have watched the same videos. Plenty of times. <laughs> All right. Yep, even more soldiers out. And even one of their Mamago brothers is out. Okay. The other sections don't seem to be doing anything to stop these kidnappings. The other sections are part of another section of the army, miss. The regular army has always been on the side of the Hillians. Can Hillians count on the support of the regular army? Ensuring the security of the population is the principal task of a soldier. Carlson Peters, Chapter 03. Wouldn't that be like Chapter 1? But uh, then again, I guess with how, so many, with how many pages there aren't in that thing, Chapter 1 and 2 are going to be the freaking index. <laughs> Probably. Probably. You obviously know what's been going on. Why haven't you let the Alpha Sex... Uh, why have you let the Alpha Sections do whatever they want? You want to know the truth? By the Irish paper. Um, I mean the Hillian word. No, anything but the Hillian word. Uh, excuse me, I, but I'm on duty. Yeah, the... Alpha sections murderers! Alpha sections murderers! Yeah, the army is on the people's side. The town is practically deserted. Do you remember Chico, the little brown-haired kid? He's been missing for the last three days. They're even taking children now. Saving sound in itself. Yep, we have to act now. And with you all the way, we have to convince everyone. Hmm. Give me a moment, actually, with that. Rise, Hillians! Oh. Everyone with Iris! Rise, Hillians! Everyone with Iris! And there's... There's... Ex there's no more wandering NPCs. Montgomery Jack is missing, it seems. The kid that was I, walking around. But, but is he having a cigarette in his eyeball? <laughs> uh, I hope, I'd hope not. Nope. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, thank goodness. Come on, Double H. I know you like being on the photo, but you don't need to try and photobomb everyone. <laughs> Double H, we have to stop this massacre. You're absolutely right, Miss Jade. But they're too dangerous. We need to go back to Iris to bring the team up to date. Here. Have a taco. And a spare. Here. Thank you, Miss Jade. I I do like that they have. It is a it's a small thing. The only that they. Uh, they either eat it or stick it in their pocket, but it's still a nice thing they do it to do that. Yeah, I, I don't think you can see many games where you can do that in this manner. Like other games, where you can do something like this. You do it through inventory. Mm -hmm. So this is a nice touch. Hey, Bowker, have you left the garage? Yo, Jade. Yeah, the garage doesn't matter. It's saving the Hillian way of life that matters now. Good work, Jade. Thanks to you, things are, are gonna start changing. The people will soon be ready to face the Alpha Sections. Okay, some something over there is causing lag again. I I do not get what is causing this. It seems to be random things. And have we been in here before? I'm sure. No, let's check it out. Alpha? Oh, yeah, we have not been here. And yeah, now the FPS is right back to normal. Aha! I think we found the way in, Miss Jade. Can't get to the other side. One, two, three, push! Basic exercises, page two! No, it's not moving another inch. And okay. yeah, as usual. It's a okay, so page by the two sections. is exercise. Be careful. Uh, page okay, three we'll is to on. protect Hillians. 
Yeah, I think that must be a different leaflet since he does. <laughs> or it's the it's the page in the chapter. Like some some books have it odd, not many, I think, where each chapter starts at page one. And yeah, this little challenge is all about timing. What the? Wait, is this to give the start to the whole drop challenge? Uh, probably not. Oop, bit out bit too far. Uh, oh, okay, I see. Uh, uh, yes, I said something. You what, mate? Uh, okay, I think I know what that is. On the British do. thing with Francis. Yeah, and uh, maybe the index is another book? Alright, not impossible. A little bit concerning if they have another book as an index alone. Yeah, that's the whole joke with the cars and we just think that it's just so freaking big. And yeah, this is the only case where one of these beams actually chases after us. We will not be seeing this uh, again except in this place, I think. And yeah, if, if we start a bit early, oop, when it starts to vanish, we have more than plenty of time to escape it. Oop. And that's a golden guard down there. Sure, it's only one, and not two. And uh, with gun drones? Yep. Oh, you're walking on glass. Are you sorry? Why, why are you not falling down? Uh, glass floors are nice and all, but uh, you've never managed to get me on top of one. The, the survival instinct is just too freaking strong. Yeah, like, okay, fun story. I, I used to play with Warcraft. I love the Draenei seat dancers, but I hate the damn holographic bridges. And of course they were in... It was too as well. So every time I was in Rata Zoom, or to walk across the Azura Bridge, I was praying I would not fall through the damn bridge. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's just basic survival instinct not to not uh, <laughs> well, go out in the open like that. Uh, well, your, your mind is basically screaming at you, I should be falling, I should be falling, I should be falling, why am I not falling, why yeah. am I not falling? Yeah, it, it is a Warcraft, it was a bit more colorful, you felt, okay, it's probably a visible force field or something, but the Rata Zoom one, it was too, just... It, it, it looks like vibrating water or something, that I just gotta go far through. And, yeah, HS, I don't think the Alphas here get any presents, <laughs> with that being the worst chimney ever. Uh, uh, watch out, more rats. Double kill. And... There. Now all of the lasers are off. Wait, why is the glass window there? Hey, you got three balls. Uh, wait, three pearls. <laughs> Get him out of the gutter. Okay, and oh, okay. The camera freaked out there for a moment. Uh, let's see. We have one patrolling, permanent beams. Yeah, if we get spotted, we're going to get zapped instantly. Is that the golden one? No, this is a normal one, but if we attack him, I'm pretty sure we're going to get zapped all the same. Wait, where is the Kona one? Yeah, uh, they're back in the other room. Oh, I thought we were in that room. Okay. Let's give him a bit of time, because this button is 
as good as certain to open up that door. And yeah, he doesn't seem to give a damn why the door is suddenly open. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing all of the alphas are just a combination of lazy and I don't get paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this bit. Uh -oh. we, we... Yeah, you you can stand between the beams, but it's a bit hard to pull off. And this is a damn lucky shot. Oh, okay, dodge. And yeah, if I remember correctly, there's actually one of those laser cannons at the top of the shaft here. And oh, our best no. hint, yeah. Don't get me started on who the hell put these alcoves in here. It's not, <laughs> that would make for good guard positions. Ooh. I saw something over there. And I'm the, the camera is actually supposed to be zoomed out a bit more, I think. Because, yeah, we would have seen this one coming. And there we go, at the top. So... Yeah, he just screws off over that way. And we get out this way. Double H. There are tons of alpha sections in the subsoil of Hillis. Better not stick around here much longer. Yoink. And yeah, let's get out. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. That puts us over here. And before we go to the Iris, let, actually, we haven't talked to you yet. I do like that they have little bit extra different bits for most of these uh, which I say immediately as I talk with one with a repeat line <laughs> uh, for, for you may uh, have talked to him uh, what the yeah, here's Montgomery Jack he isn't missing at all I was to call him Oscar again <laughs> what's wrong the alpha section have to see it since the start it's time to take action you remember the iris right the world of our town is that even the governor is a member of the network. Okay. No need to go there. And yeah, they've even given up on blocking off areas here. And yeah, we, it's been a bit since we've visited Ming Su. They got a new pearl, I believe. And two new magazines, I think. Yeah, they should have the second one as well now. There we go. As we said, identification. Okay. And yeah, even though they already know that we are with Iris, they we need to give the code word again. But always good to double check. And thank you. Uno. Dos. Yes. Now we have twenty-two. Also, this little thing here, the super attack strengthens. Good work. During the aerial phase of the super attack, press uh, the mouse, uh, press the left mouse button repeatedly to fire in bursts. We haven't actually used the super attack at all since the very start of the game, mostly because it takes a bit to charge up. <laughs> hey. And yeah, what that would do is it actually fires off a, a, a homing, little homing bolt that will seek out enemies. And yeah, here we have Iris 513, 13, yeah. and 14. I think I'll go ahead and take the issues from the Iris. Okay, another repeat line. Oh uh, yeah, let, we might as well play them right away. Because we haven't checked in this little bit, but there's an Endis reader here. A report from our special correspondent, the Alpha Sections at the Neutral Pills Factory. Iris 513. 
Human traffic at the Nutrapills factory. Reporters, Double H and Shawnee. Yeah, yeah, remember, up until this point, they hadn't actually found any solid evidence of uh, the allegations against the Alpha Sections. According to the Alpha Sections, the shuttles between the factory and the slaughterhouse ensure the provisioning of our soldiers. But our reporters have successfully infiltrated these places. The factory is actually a cover for human traffic. Hundreds of victims are sent there daily under the surveillance of the Alpha Sections. The Alpha Sections themselves are controlled by the DOMs. And yeah, I, you don't actually get to see your own pictures in these. The Alpha Sections are traitors under the pay of the DOMs. It's, yeah, it is a bit annoying that they don't put in your own photos, but uh, yeah, they, you can't have everything. Yeah. Iris 514, the people of Hill is kidnapped by the Alpha Section. A report from our special correspondent, Shawnee. We now know even more about the extensive kidnappings that have been striking the Hillian population. The victims are sent through the old slaughterhouses under the supervision of the Alpha Sections. No, oh, HS, some photos are not. Um, this one looks like the one that we took. It, it, it's, they are scaled down, so it, it will be a bit more Once difficult there, to tell. They are sealed into Dom sarcophaguses, then shipped to the moon. The Alpha sections and the Doms are annihilating the population of Hillis. Hmm. Oh dear. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, come on! What? Uh, read, the sh read the shit again, Helian. Yeah, <laughs> nice, you got pearl number 69. <laughs> I intentionally skipped that bit, one for you to find. <laughs> I swear that number is cursed. I see it everywhere. Or blessed, depending on the person you ask. Um, let me double check here. If this is a place that we haven't... Okay, there is... They call that a protected district, and they just let it fall to ruins. In any case, there's a passage. We can sneak through. Mm -hmm. I think you're missing about to miss something in the room. Yeah. <gasps> I knew it. Uh, let's finish this one quickly, and then we'll go to the headquarters. And, yeah, now we have yellow beams. I don't think you find these anywhere else. There's something else. going on over there. I'm going to go have a look. I'll stay here. What? Ah, this place. I think the yellow beams are instant death, but I'm not completely sure. Because, well, I've done my very best to not get hit by them. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is going to be a bunch of conveyor belt platforming. Oh no. Nope. Bit of an awkward camera change. But uh, yeah, I don't think there are any enemies in this area. I do like the I do like the the music in this bit. It, it's it's simple, but it does help a bit with the yeah, keeping you a bit on edge. Yeah, I forgot that this, this used to be a trend in some games. Yep. For conveyor belt levels, and I remember as a kid to hating them. Alright, it's simple enough here. Just don't get hit by the laser beams. And luckily there aren't well, any crates moving around at the moment to hit us. We are jumping on to that one next, there. Ah, just got the info, info from the chat there. The soundtrack that is now playing is a slower version of the Black Isle boss. Okay. Didn't recognize it. Okay. Simple, get from one to the other. A bit too early. And yeah, now we're going against the, the line. 
But yeah, we're almost at the end of it. Go. I do like that you can still steer around even after you've uh, dodged for, or you've gone into a roll. It helps with mobility and doesn't lock you in to, well, probably get your head caved in by a hammer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, drink. Oh, hello. That's not all? Oh, that is all. There was some kind of weird traffic going on with some cases. And a pearl. Okay, nothing to comment on that. Then off to Iris it is. What's going on? Haven't you read the paper from Iris? The other sections are the one that have been kidnapping the Hillians since the beginning. The brave guys were all behind you. It's been right since the beginning. Wait, Helios be kidnapped? <laughs> you also need to convince the regular army. The governor's a good girl, she's always different than the Helians. You're one of them, huh? You're Shawnee. Excuse me, Jade, I, I had my doubts about uh, Iris, but they were right all along. Yeah, I already talked with you. You have anything new, Nori? Identification. Okay. You know the Iris Network? You guys do one heck of a job. You're the reason I put my pearl up for sale. Good luck. I'm pretty sure earlier when we talked to her, we, we used the code uh, on her. She uh, thought the Iris were still terrorists. Alpha Sections murderers! Alpha Sections murderers! Thanks. Have you heard about the traffic uh, the other sections are doing? I read it in the Iris 5113. No, 513 bit. 5113 uh, would be a hell of a lot of extra numbers <laughs> of issues. On top of that, they've been taking all the pearls that belong to the victims. They must be stocking them in their HQ. Yeah, the fact that they're taking the pearls also uh, suggests to me that they use them for... Yeah, pro <clears throat> for procreation of their uh, yeah higher art yeah higher hierarchy <laughs> parts Ugh. I'm <laughs> my English is sucking again yeah there the aliens are starting to get the picture yep we have to stay mobilized and stop listening to that big moron <laughs> that big moron hiding behind his television screen I read issue 514 uh, apparently the Elvis sections are controlled by the Doms You've joined the demonstrators too? Soon it will be too late. We have to warn everyone and save Hillis. I brought you two pearls after I read the news in Iris 514. Hang in there. Because, yeah, we're getting paid again. Rise, Hillians! Everyone with Iris! Rise, Hillians! Everyone with Iris! Hey, Rob, you left your taxi? You betcha. We can't even leave Hillis any anymore. There are some amazing whales out in the open sea right now. I do like that Jay knows all, knows a lot of these characters, even if we do not. It, it shows this isn't just a world that popped into existence. It, it see, shows that these people have been around a while. Yeah, I don't like that. Seems like the Hillians have finally understood. There isn't, any, you know, there isn't enough of us yet to try something. But in the meantime, we have to support Iris. Find as many pearls as you can, so that you know, they, they will have the means to inform the entire planet. Save and sound in its shell. The precious pearl is the slave of the currents. We're behind you. When the time comes, you can count on us. <laughs> With how many people know the code where this loses a bit of its value, don't you think? <laughs> if everyone on the planet knows it, it's not going to be much of a way to identify each other anymore. <laughs> yeah... Millions are supporting you? More pearls must be found to support Iris and the revolution. I know that there's a colony of pearl, uh, Crochaks at the summit of the volcano. Uh, at least those nasty creatures can be used for something good and useful. 
Yeah, but you know, that's all gonna change soon. And he doesn't know that is the code word. And you last? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Second repeat line from them. They couldn't. It makes sense that they wouldn't have one for each and every one of the soldiers. Mm. Are you doing Mo? Hey Mo, you know your plan to. Uh, sh Apparently, there's a little, uh, nice little package of pearls at the top of our volcano in, in the crater. That's all I know, but it's no joke, you can trust me. We might have had that line before, but oh well. Also, over here, you can see the records on the racetracks the, with the times. And let's see, Rufus, Miss Seven, The Butcher, and Cannonball currently hold the records. I don't think you actually get anything for breaking these records, but oh well. It's always nice to try. Nope, nothing to say there. And Rufus has nothing new to say. Any. Okay. Yeah, let's just go see the others. All right. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, extra oh. cash for the records. Okay, that's nice to know. Ah, J Double H, perfect timing. We've been waiting for you. There's someone here that would very much like to meet you. Governor, please allow me to introduce you to our... Yes, we already know each other, through email. Your help has been a great service to us, Governor. Without those codes, we wouldn't have been able to do anything. I am overjoyed to finally be able to meet you face to face, Jade. Your reports have had a large impact on the population. Just a little more effort, and I'm sure we'll be able to count on the support of all Hillians to rid our planet of the Alpha Sections and the Doms. Here, this will be useful in continuing your fight. Thank you. This will help us find those that have disappeared, if it isn't already too late. Scanalyze, okay. Okay, sorry if that was audible, but apparently... My phone just woke up from sleep mode. And yeah, now we have a star key. Well, that's what it is. Hmm? The, the chief, he's alive. It's incredible. Your chief, had he disappeared? Taken by the alpha sections. We haven't heard anything from him for weeks. Wild boar calling Iris. Wild boar calling Iris. Hey, that's my uncle! Paige! Your uncle? Our chief? He communicates with you by radio. Security measure. Until now, nobody knew his real identity. Paige! Is that you? He can't hear you, Jade. Quiet, everyone. He'll call back. Don't make a sound. Wild Boar calling Iris! I don't have much time. They're everywhere. They've taken me to the moon. Get this message to Jade, your new reporter. Read the M disk that I gave you and find the ship. Read the M disk and find the. They're coming! Hey! He gave you an M disk? Just before they kidnapped him. Listen, Jade, this ship is essential. It's the missing element from our plan. If you find it, we have a chance to succeed. Paige is being held prisoner on the moon, probably with the other victims. You have to go there. Nino has a plan. Here's what we'll do. They use a long-range transmitter to broadcast their propaganda from the moon. We can strike them where it hurts by broadcasting your reports on their own screens using this long-range transmitter. That's an excellent plan. You find Paige's ship. You go to the moon. You wrap up your report. You take control of the transmitter. You broadcast the report. The population rises up. And that's the end of the Alpha Sections. What does Carlson and Peters think? They say that it would be suicide. But I say, when the going gets tough. What? <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough get going. <laughs> yeah, yes. 
was I the one feeling, feeling like that awkward? The silence that was going to be awkward. Yeah, because this is it is a pretty big uh, leap to <laughs> to attempt. But yeah, Paige is the head of the Iris Network. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did you? It all makes sense now. I have forgotten that he, his code name was Wild Boar. Uh, that, that should have hey, been like a um, good giveaway. <laughs> yeah, they, he didn't. They didn't give his code name before. <laughs> they, the Iris Network oh, terrorists have been spreading wait, slander wait, against the Alpha sections. The so-called photographic evidence that have been appearing in their underground newsletter are nothing more than elaborate fakes. And yeah, we're getting a hell of a lot of pearls again. A lot more than last time. He seems to be very weak. In any case, he's alive. Maybe the others are too. We have to work fast. Any info on the lunar base? Very little. None of the Irish ships are able to leave the atmosphere. Probably we could gain the confidence of all the Hillians, we would have need an entire fleet to fight at our sides. Have you already located the transmitter? The waves are coming from the surface of the moon. They must have a base up there. Do you know why Paige was hiding his ship? If you ask me, he was probably trying to lay low until the Alpha sections forgot about him. But I'm sure he kept it close by. You've probably passed it a million times without even knowing. And May... <laughs> May hovering? <laughs> That's some uh, leg strength. Well, you saw us get, is she always sitting on tables? But uh, right. <laughs> well, she is a cat. Then, well, cats sit high. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Paige is the you know, chief of Iris? None of us knew it, Jade. Never stepped foot inside here. They always transmitted from a secret hideout. Paige, the chief of the Iris network. Don't hold it against him, Jade. He wanted to keep you safe. Yeah, he, he was trying to push us away from getting, <laughs> of getting involved at first. Yeah, true. And uh oh, uh, you may want to check the chat, Tillian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, a GTA star pass, <laughs> a GTA cop star pass. <laughs> yeah, I think we're more than uh, at a one star wanted rank <laughs> by now. <laughs> I was more thinking of the hype of the go to space from the guy, our yeah. dear fan here. Let's go to space, woohoo! <laughs> Maybe we'll find the portal space orb there. Wait, what? Yeah, that, that's a joke. Uh, we, uh, if we ever, if we ever make, uh, if we ever stream Portal Two, you'll find out. If you haven't found out by then. <laughs> oh dear. Have you seen the photos of the slaughterhouses? Yep, that's it. Issue 514 is out. It's horrendous what's happening over there. Couldn't do anything. There were guards everywhere. Impossible to get close to the victims. We've already done so much. Things are evolving, Jade. The Hillians have once again showed their support. Don't forget the pearls that they've left for you. Left for us. Yeah, it's quite a few. Let's see. 6, 12, 13. Yeah, we're starting to fill this out quite a bit. There's still some gaps, but we found most of them. Double H, you have anything to say? Pace talked about his ship. Primitive. Personally, Miss Jade, if I had a ship to hide, I'd keep it at my house in a very discreet place. Do you have any exact information on the lunar base? Negative, Miss Jade. All I know is that they sent a package of material up there recently. No. So, and you were going to say something? I say the everything you said about hiding in his own house. That was what just happened. <laughs> You know anything about these star passes? Affirmative, property of the alpha sections. 
The governor must have taken a lot of risk to get a hold of one. It will come in handy. I located the star switch in Fountain Square. All right. Uh, yeah, that is. I believe that is the only star uh, gate, or <laughs> only star pass gate in the game. So. Saw a star switch east to district behind the fountain. What would you want to do first? Go look over there, or shall we go and try and find the beluga? Uh, wait, 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 what? The page's ship, the beluga. Alright, uh, what was the other option? To go through the gate over here with the star. Which one continues the story? Uh, both, I, I think both are required. Though, hmm, I, I'm not sure if, I don't think if that one progresses the story. I think most of the time when I've gotten to this point, I immediately went for there. But, yeah, let, let's go and find the beluga then. See if we can uh, figure out where that's hidden. And we'll give the kids a visit again. Yeah, and I suspect that there is ship is there. And yeah, the propaganda updates after each of the dungeons that we complete. I, I like this ship on the right here. I it it just looks like a, a flying trimaran without the sail. What the heck? <laughs> it flies way too slow. Okay. Let's go for the M-Disc reader, give the disc another look through. Uh, I already know where it is, of course. Uh, but let's see if you can figure out the hints. Alright. Or Jade. Jade, you inherited generosity and courage from your parents. You know... I think about them a lot. We were very close friends. Twenty years ago, we were forced to separate because we were all having some major problems with the authorities. Your parents put you under my care to save your life. We came to Hillis. Back then, it was a peaceful planet. I had hoped to raise you there safely. But the conflict spread. Now, you must know something. If I was able to get here, it was thanks to the Beluga, the spaceship that I designed and built with your father. It still exists, but I haven't exactly finished getting it back in top shape. You'll find the checkup report on my desk. The Beluga is at our place. You have to enter a code into each one of the consoles to open the secret hiding place. I can't say any more on this M-Disc about it, but I hope this information will be useful to you if, one day, you have to use the Beluga. No matter what happens, good luck, Jade. Uncle Page. Yeah, I think I saw some hints there. Is the damn hover thing that's part of the Beluga, ain't it? Uh, yep. But that doesn't tell us anything about uh, where it's hidden or where these consoles are. Yeah, I didn't really notice. Side note, this, uh, uh, this piece of the... Uh, of this piece of the soundtrack, I believe, is called Thoughtful Reflections. Wait, I see paper here. Okay, why would they show this if there's not unless there's something here? 
I think I saw the password there. Mm, I'll tell you this, the password isn't on there. And the reason that might have looked What's all this familiar. About shoes? You have any idea? Ta da! Uh... <laughs> I was over analyzing that. I was focusing on the paper. Any ideas? It's M Disk. He wanted to tell you something. The end is weird, the board. Yeah, we're standing right next to it, double H. <laughs> Do you know yeah, about his shoes? Is there something special about them? If only we'd been able to get them and give them uh, a really good looking over. Oh dear. Speaking of those shoes. Do you notice something a little bit off, perhaps? I know they were fault powered. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. That, that's a new one. That's a new one. <laughs> yeah, that's why the pic there's pictures of the shoes. <laughs> and why they keep talking about them. Okay. Uh, 9 5 and then either SX or GK. SX, GK. SX, GK. SX. Uh, yep, correct one immediately. But there's still another one to find. Yeah, they said need a cutscene before you, you can activate. Hmm. In the we'll have to see. Yeah, uh, we've already had this line. And yeah. Page talked to Iris the night he looked under his shoes. Then he opened the two boards. Hey, Yao is basically giving hints as to what to do. Okay, I'm guessing the other kids don't have anything new to say either. Nope. All right. No, well, I'll beeline straight for where the other one is. Because there isn't too much place in here to hide a board. Except... Hide a board? Here. A board! A, a board hid behind a board. Okay, uh, let's go back. Double check. The S one was used. So this one is going... No. This one is going to be G9K5. Okay. G nine K five. Oh, uh, one. Oh, <laughs> okay. I didn't know you could actually put in more than four numbers. Uh, okay. Here we go again. I guess G I'll go grab something. Nine K five. And yeah, I could have hit the race, but oh. Okay. Of course, that would have had a bit more fanfare to it if we'd done the <laughs> the lower one first. So let's head back to that. Perfect, Miss Jade. Now we can go open the door in the hangar. Good. Code accepted. Two shoes, two codes. So then the pick selected uh, at one at your place. Yeah, uh, that's he, that was his reaction to well filling in one of them. Okay, let's give a moment for Rakia to return. I'm guessing the flick... Uh, yeah, speak of the devil. 
<laughs> and it, it was flicking a bit out me. He has been flicking a lot recently. A lot today, actually. Hmm. It's been doing that a few times every now and then, but we haven't been able to found, figure out the fix for that. It might just be one of those weird Discord things. Yeah. And I have told you before, there are many VTubers that have doing what we've been doing, doing, and they have the same issue. So it's... All right. Yeah, Let's it's just push the Discord button. probably. There she is. The Beluga. 20 years? Paige, you've been hiding this from me for the past 20 years. <laughs> I'm sure he was just trying to protect you. And yeah, as you can see, there's a rather specific <laughs> hovercraft shape hole in it. So let's grab sure, this. Sure, should be impressed or be very concerned. Uh, also, it's just, uh, just a small request with uh, emotes. Please keep it down to six at the max or something. Beluga checkup. Beluga overhaul checkup. Depth stabilizers, okay. Octo combustors, okay. Light stabilizers, missing. Gonna have to install the one I already got and then try to remember to pick up another one from those crooks at Mamago Garage. Auto guidance to the hovercraft, okay. Hyper sustenance sorting board, okay. Parallelism nozzles, okay. Stellar motor, missing. Only needed for space flight. Gotta buy uh, one of those. <laughs> gotta, gotta buy a. Uh, one from those cons at Mama goes. He really doesn't like them for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, save for two parts, he managed to fix everything on this. He might have been scammed by them a few times, perhaps? Uh, could be. Still the, the only functional workshop around here, it seems. And yep, yeah, this is one of the flight stabilizers. Nice job, Yate. Do that again. The core mechanics do have a bad rep in some countries. Yeah. Especially in USA, apparently. Yeah, there are a lot of places over there that uh, scam people. Like, you bring them in for a simple check, and then they... Well, they do a quote-unquote full check, and then basically do nothing and charge you for a full repair, which they have done nothing, of course. Or even worse, they sabotage your car by putting in the wrong oil and such. It's not, of course, it's not every place, but it's frustratingly frequent from all from all I've heard. Yeah, and then there's the worst one of all. If you accidentally tell them you're about to have a wedding, no, then they will claim they will you discount. Well, this one is the opposite. You basically pay triple of, of five times more. Yeah, that's something that's also pulled a lot. Yeah, the other shops has done it I hear you say, but especially car mechanics. And then of course they guild the trip the newlyweds to pay the sum. I can't control it. If we want to get off the ground, we're going to need one flight stabilizer for each reactor. Yep, we've got one already, but we don't have another. So after the mama goes, we go. Yep. Again, I... <laughs> I'm too used to shift being run, even with how many times I've played this game, and I know that it's space. <laughs> oh, the heck. Uh, right, uh, before we get... In Sweden, our core mechanics have a bit more respect. Like, sure, it's still expensive. 
But I have strict rules, so they're not trying to scam you at least here. Yeah. However, um, a few years back, something also oh correlated. No! The car schools, you know, driving licenses and all of that. All of them in the entire Sweden came under investigation. For apparently hey, many... Dad, where you been hiding? For many car driver license uh, give, uh, teachers have apparently been faking that the this ministry would have passed but the teachers just lied that they didn't pass just to keep paying for more lessons yeah they, i've been heard of similar stuff here where uh, <clears throat> they have a, a limited quota of people they can have pass the their exams for driving licenses and yeah if all of them have if the quota has been met then even if they uh were if they normally would have passed uh everyone after that is basically going to fail or to be failed because well money yeah and i think i think it's been solved now it's still expensive but at least they'll be under very heavy scrutiny due to it whatever was many of the actual court being uh, Guilty of it. Yeah. Hi, Asam. A satisfied customer always comes back to Mama Go Garage. Hi, Aid. I do a little shopping. Yeah, usual. And yeah, there's one missing here. And here's the other. Hi, Al. Got anything to help with rolling and pitching? I've got one flat stabilizer left. It's only for spaceships, though. That okay? That's perfect. Thanks, Al. Can we land the ship at your place? Of course, there's a platform on the roof. You'll see it. Lucky. Those goggles and hats. <laughs> yep, 20 pearls. And here we go. And here we have the last item. A space engine. But we don't have enough pearls to buy it. So, we're gonna need to grind it, don't we? Identification. Okay. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to pillage this thing. Parfait. I stock it. A boost capsule temporarily triples your map. A set of pods completely restores your vehicle's energy. A set of pods completely restores your vehicle's energy. See? And before we head out... Okay, so, ha, you won't regret it, Jade. The Mago boys are full of good advice. <laughs> and now we have to leave the Reggae Rhinos again and go install that flight stabilizer. Say about the plane earlier. You gave it the damn plane a compliment, and what does it do? It crushes. It just breaks your lighthouse. What's been going on around here? No, 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 no! Pablo, Ben, Yala! Careful, Miss Jade. The Alpha sections may still be there. Double H! They've taken the children! Anybody here? Umi! Zaza! Oh no.
poor Wolf. I know how you are. You tried to help them. You told yourself that you wouldn't let them come to any harm. That you'd be there to protect them. I know, boy. But that isn't what actually happened. The kids are gone. And you... You couldn't do anything. You're, you're here. Alive and well. Who do you think you are? Did you think you'd actually be able to make a difference? That wolf. <laughs> you were wrong, boy. Completely and utterly wrong. There's nothing anyone can do. There's nothing anyone can do. We must go now, Miss Jade. It's over, Double H. Finished. They're still alive, Miss Jade. Paige, the kids, they're all still alive. That's one way to react to that. Yeah, and for a moment I thought your mic were broke. <laughs> no, I was intentionally keeping quiet about that. Yeah, I can see Ooh. why. Brown code, that's the lower no. one. I, 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 I'm still banning you from complimenting any more airships. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, most people would say that is the highlight of uh, Jade's performance. Highlight? I am unsure, but then again, I probably want to wait before I say a highlight uh, till after the full game. Also, of course, they're going to leave behind someone to watch the rackets. Flying lunatics. Okay, simple enough. Double H can't do anything against this thing. And there we go. But of course, it can't just be one, huh? Of course not. I have no time to be photographing this constellations now, Jade. <laughs> the guitar in that piece. <laughs> One more. And of course, one final insult. Alright. Um. Balloon. You can get hits on it whilst it's moving, I think. Yep, and I proved my point right after. Uh, yeah. And, of course, they vanish right as... Now oh, the button's oh. broken. I... Oh, no. Mm, nothing. Yeah, the, <laughs> the generator is kind of gone. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Let's activate this one again as well. Yeah, 
Okay, that does kind of confirm one thing in my mind though, and that is getting that getting the stabilizer is what triggers the story to continue. So let's put that thing in place. That should do it. The ship is now in full working order. I'm to take a test flight. Don't ask me how the hell Paige managed to hide this. <laughs> Faith forgot the thingy. Yep, there's a full on <laughs> takeoff uh, hatch up here. And yeah, the beluga flies again. And yeah, nice little detail. There's actually a door in there. There we go. Ooh. And now we can fly around everywhere. But of course, someone has to go rain on a parade. And since, well, we can fly now, there's no reason for these things to hold back anymore. Yeah, I know something better. I'm going to make this thing roll over and die. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to say put it. And yet it's definitely the city that's causing that slowdown. Yeah. What is it? That looks like a damn flying spine cord. Yep. Okay, I got it. Yeah, it, it is something with the game that is causing the slowdown because I, my CPU is a, shut up. My CPU is only at seventy-five percent, and the, the GPU is only at fifty. So yeah, it's something in the game that is slowing itself down. Ow. Sit still and die. And that is the last of the Z the sea serpents. Wait. <laughs> okay, small glitch. The <laughs> the pearl is still hanging in the air there. Did you pee it up or? Epic finisher, okay now. Uh, I don't think we can land with the beluga in here. Or rather, yeah, yeah, we can't land it in the city. But we can just go over to the entrance. Maneuver not allowed. Collision risk high. <laughs> I'd say it's a bit more than just high. See, I guess we bumped into the freaking wall. But yeah, we can just eject the hovercraft and head back in. Yeah, still 75 on the CPU and 50 on the GPU. So, yeah, it's just some something in the game itself is choking it. Uh, yeah, let's head over to this place. I'm presuming that the developers assumed that you would go to this immediately since, well, you'd seen it uh, locked off. And, well, you get a key, you're going to use it. And, yeah, it could be some of the light effects. It, it's also those bladder-like things that seem to cause slowdown as well. Don't let them see you. They will have no pity. The Okay, HS says it might be some, uh, maybe the light effects? Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking some sort of transparency thing. 10-4! Since, well, like I said, the, the, the air bladder-like beasts also cause slowdown. Watch maybe it's the shielding. And yeah, immediately making it very clear, do not get spotted here. The 
because this is the absolute center of their operations, or at least their most public, uh, cap uh, their most public uh, operations. And of course, there's going to be a lot of them. I think. You're and, well, running right behind him. Uh, even even at that distance, I think just walking should have been fine enough. But oh well, <laughs> they're going to sharpen up that much. Yeah, I, I you... guess I'm, I guess we're dealing with the ones that aren't lazy over here. Yeah, you were like one meter away from him. Yeah, but before they only really rec uh, responded to us walking at like this distance. But, oh well. I say and immediately walk <laughs> at that distance. Hmm. <clears throat> well, as he saw you. Could be. Either way, let's hope that's going to be the only death. Okay, same trick as before. And as intimidating as the Alphas are, there is one thing about them that I can just never take seriously at all. They're freaking pantaloons. The pants? What? Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they, they're, they, they're wearing striped pants. Yeah, yeah, it does look a bit weird, but I think I know why. For I think they have a slight retro uh, aesthetic. To them. Yeah, but, but still, why striped pants? If everything else on you is black, why is the only bit of grey just on your pants? <laughs> well, they uh. have the same thing about the uh, regular soldiers. Do they have a bit more colors, right? Yellow and red. Yeah. Okay. Simple enough. One that spins, one that doesn't. So, okay, okay, let's add something to the list, Ilian. Hmm? The movement. Yeah. <laughs> would, would you really do all that just to turn around? Nope. Uh, yeah, I guess that goes back to uh, our, th our, th our thoughts on them possibly being uh, converted... <clears throat> ...converted members of the Hillian army. That it, yeah, their movements are just ingrained from their training. And yeah, since it's not green glass, we would have been totally spotted through that. At least they have better helmets than the Helian army. <laughs> yeah, without the freaking spikes on top. Oh, the damn weird mouthpiece. Yeah, that's because they have their internal... Uh, vent cir uh, they have their internal circulation. So they don't need to breathe outward. It's... Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, for love of all, Lillian. <laughs> <laughs> go and hello still not enough but it puts us plenty close nice <laughs> so uh, many HS and maybe they uh up i'm guessing you mean obsessed or something with uh, the kabouter dance which is <laughs> Uh, th this probably isn't known outside of the Netherlands, but there's a show here uh, kab called Kabouter Plop, which would translate to about... Um, hmm, I don't know what the second part would translate to, but it's basically gnome something. They, it's probably been translated as something entirely different as is the habit. But it's basically a kid's show with... Uh, <clears throat> real-life actors in suits 
yeah, doing well, uh, yeah, telling stories from, uh, yeah, a, a group of gnomes. <laughs> Very popular around here. It has been discontinued, though. Wait. Wait, okay, let me guess it. Kebautur is gnome? Yep. Dance, dance is dance? Yeah. Gnome dance? Yep. Um, I'll actually link it to you after this, so you can have a look yourself. They've done a few of those uh, AMVs, you could call them. Not AMVs, but uh, yeah, music videos. Well, I have YouTube up on my uh, TV, so I can look it up whenever. Poor all the streets I read on the big screen. Lost, sweetheart. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, that's the big boss himself. And his aim is as shit as all of his subordinates. Wait. And now it's a fucking gunship after us. Oh, he's right on our fucking tail. Don't break up the team. Carlson and Peters, page 823. Let them go. They'll lead us to an even larger prize. Something on chat here. Wait, I recognize the lyrics. Have they made the English version of that song? Could be. Let's see. Best song line is Stomp a Time on the Ground, Move Your Feet All Around. Um, Let me think. I don't know the, the lyrics by heart. Um, I, 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 I just recall a remix. Uh, wait, sort of? Night step remix thingy, I think. Yeah, I, th I think had, you're had... thinking of Stamp on the Ground or something like that. Oh, yeah, it is a different wait, wait. song. Oh, okay, maybe I'll mix it up with that one. And yeah, like I said, I think the developers expected you to go do that first before headed o heading over to the lighthouse to uh, well, go find the ship, which. Yeah, would mean that you led them straight to the kids. Uh, Still, you're full for complimenting a flying blimp. <laughs> it was the damn same blimp that flew you to the lighthouse. No, it, it was one of their gunships that flew away from it. <clears throat> But yeah, the beluga is still where we parked it. Yeah, just circling around lazily. And yeah, we are still four pearls... <clears throat> Pardon? We are still four pearls short. But there are still some around. That single one here, that is Francis... Or is it Fran... Yeah, Francis's pearl. This one here, I... Don't know. I, that's, that would a leap. That would be at the races, but we beaten both of the races, and it seems that Not we missed a pearl in the slaughterhouses. And there is still one hidden over. Wait, where is that? That's not the mama goes. Oh, I'd completely forgotten about this Linda one here. Loud. Collision risk high. And yeah, it, it gives that warning if you're trying to jump out somewhere you're not supposed to. I'd, I'd completely forgotten about this looter's cave. So, one more then. 
Yeah, we, we, we've done one, two, and four, so of course there's going to be a third. I do have to say that I like these cars. There's a power to cops. <laughs> and off we go. And yeah, since this is also one that we can only access once we've got the jump module, they're going to put the lasers here as well. But number four remains the most difficult one, I think. And uh, we'll just have to see. Yep. Quick, the door's closing. Oh, you see something behind this station? Ow. Stab and care in head run stab dead. Stab and care in head run stab dead. Yeah. Uh, no return of the drone. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll uh, say that out once we're done here. But yeah, the, the doors actually close a lot faster than you think. They drop down in parts like that. Like it. If it's... you... So... you... come on... Yeah, it would have dropped shot there, right, if we'd been a few seconds late there. And once more, these guys are taken out like a bunch of smugs. Still three to go. Nice! <laughs> I might look at making uh, an emote out of you know, that design <laughs> to use when raiding or something, or however emotes on Twitch work. I guess I, I think you can use the emotes of other channels, uh, of a channel on different channels, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Okay, first of all, uh, stamp and carry in the ground, stamp with your foot on the ground, that's, uh, yeah, stamp, um, it, the more direct translation would be stamp in a circle, and then stamp uh, uh, with your feet on the ground. Uh, warning, this song is also very difficult to get out of your head. Yeah, all of the Studio 100 songs are good, <laughs> hard to get out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're, they're, Studio 100 is also the ones who made uh, a series called Samson and Gert, or Samson and Gert. And there was also a real life actor show. Think like, uh, yeah, think like many of those absolutely terrible uh, Nickelodeon live action shows, but actually good. What? Yeah. And no, it doesn't Play. involve kids, luckily enough, with that. It, it stars the titular Samson, the, the dog, the talking dog, a, a puppet. Uh, spoiler. <laughs> and Geert, who is his, uh, yeah, his uh, owner slash boss, even though he constantly gives him lip. Titular dog. And yeah, we've Thank been hearing quite a bit about him. <laughs> I'll send you something of theirs as well. But yeah, we've heard quite a bit about a, uh, a, a treasure in a volcano, and well, there's only one volcano around, and the Black Owl. Uh oh. Oh, right, I want to say we want to be end stream, so they realize we will extend the stream by 10 right, minutes. Be very careful. They say the treasure is guarded by a colony of Krojaks. Have pro checks ever been a problem for us, Double H? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they've pinned up us a few times, but they've never managed to kill us. And hello, Mecha Impulsor. Bravo, Yid. I have a feeling they're gonna swallow you whole just for be uh, for th those arrogant words. <laughs> uh, hello. Especially if you could be dealing with an army of them. It sounds like a um. Oh yeah, the laughing background is the only thing that what the live shows make so bad. Yeah, laugh tracks are just horrendous. I personally have to. It, it personally, I, I, it feels more like laugh tracks are like uh, laugh now signs being put up obnoxiously. Yeah. 
Even as a uh, kid, I found them annoying. Aurelia Magnificence. Okay, I filed the picture. If there's an animal next to you. Mm, yeah, but this roll, once we finish it, actually gives us an M disc. Okay. Let's see. Is there an animal near you? Oh, wait, uh, right in front of you. Okay, uh, it sounded like something was buzzing in the room, but no. Uh, I have my phone up front, so yeah, it wasn't that. So I'm guessing someone else's phone was buzzing loudly. Astacus erectus. There's a lot of erectus beasts around this place, huh? but basically it means stands up. Yep. The we both know people have been misusing the term way too much. Hello, Jade. <laughs> and yeah, we had two thousand units earlier, so you can see how quickly you can get through you can go through them when you're buying up pearls. Now let's see HS again. And the sound effects are so old that you actually always hear you're hearing dead people. <laughs> yeah. Death. But his group of deaf people, but the grammarly should be dead people. Okay. Um, almost eight hours of playtime now. I think we can finish up this bit here, maybe explore around the mine a bit, get that PA1 that we missed, and then we'll probably call it for today. Yeah, do remember, you have about nine minutes. Yeah, we can go it's a little bit right, extra if needed. And this shouldn't take too long anyways. Hmm. Five hours later. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we D -B -U -T -T. might. B U T T. Don't break up the team. Yes. Wait, you're not. You're not causing slowdown this time, but. Attack! Okay. <laughs> but now it was. Yep. Yeah, I. I just do not get Awaiting what is causing orders, this. Miss Jade. Yeah, you can come over here for one double H. And Contracts here we are. In sight. Easy enough to beat the snotting out of the, the snotting, the snot out of. The way go. he's the, the combo pose while holding the hammer. Yeah, now we have enough, but there's more to be gained. Jeez, break these. <laughs> Just the way he's bouncing back and forth, I don't... Yeah, that's not the best combat pose. I'll be taking that. And honestly, any pearls uh, past 30 here is more than we need. Because, yeah, the, the space engine is the last thing we can buy with them. So any more is just for extra. Speaking of extra... I can't read what he's still saying. His S is staying in the chapter due to pixelation. Okay, give me a sec. Let's see. If you got 30 pearls, you should uh, should go buy the first the thing first and then uh, stop because it's a point before the next adventure. Yeah. Uh, once we've got the engine we'll be uh, able to go to a point of no return. So let's just first finish up the rest of the Crochak's nest. And yeah, there really is a lot of them, huh? 
Yeah, and I do think yeah. I should, uh, you should probably be careful like and not get overconfident. Yeah, as long as you give them one hit before they finish up charging it, okay, uh, you interrupt their attack. Like that. See? And they have to start all over again. The biggest threats, the biggest threats from the crow checks comes from them pinning your partner down. That's another four pearls. Yeah, that's ten pearls already. Oh dear. And this place is to make sure that uh, you definitely have enough to get <laughs> to get where you need to be without without searching through the entire we game. This is too good. For those of you who just beat the dead, you just find out annoying and painful. I don't think it's actually required to do this because we were... Oh, we were three pearls off and we could still have gotten two from uh, the races. Oh, now we're pinned. I, we can free ourselves, though, as shown there, even if it was through the thing of a lot of wings. Oh, sorry. And, yeah, an another way to get out of their attacks is by just moving away. It, uh, like I was saying, uh, Double H, get back here. Don't break up the theme. <laughs> the, the, theme the theme yourself this time. Ugh. And another five makes fifteen. <laughs> but yeah, like I was going to say, uh, we could have still gotten two pearls from the races at the slaughterhouses, and yeah, there was for some reason they were still showing a race at uh, Hillis City. So we'll have to take a double check over there. But for now, we have nearly every pearl in the game. Except for, let's see, two there, three, number three there, four, and I think that's it. Nope, five. Five pearls, 83 in total. That's quite a bit, proud? huh? Oh yeah, yeah. you'll be proud. Do you want to say anything to the audience? Okay. Now, oh, really? we still have a few You're... minutes left. Uh, I know where I know where the passage is to get that PA that we missed in the lower section of the island. So we can just grab that and then save and end it for night tonight. Alright, and... and I'm surprised. Hmm? Hmm? You, you, you didn't start thanking your mother and your father and your dog. Wait, don't have a dog. <laughs> Alright. I think there aren't any animals in... Oh, there's still one in here, it seems. But that's in the lower area. HS, if the PA1 is still there. It should be. I don't think they actually despawned or anything. Okay. And yeah. The reason that the caldera is just full of water is, well, it rain, of course. That, that thing is going to fill up eventually. Okay. Yeah, it's basically a dead volcano. Yep. Alright. Then a quick in and out. Because, yeah, I missed <laughs> the place that I missed. The the way to get to that pay I won is pretty freaking obvious. Again, I can hear so I, someone else's alarm clock is going off or something. But yeah, the way to get to it is just over here. Huh. As simple as that, and I completely overlooked it. And you can also find these here. The only requirement is, well, a way to get through these. Then we go. And hello there. Sybil, it's been digitalized. Uh, I wouldn't mind making a, an emote out of these as well. 
And yeah, I can't actually show off the uh, super attack here because you you only draw your weapon when you get into combat. This is probably and, a good idea. Yeah. Also, what's, where's the missing animal? Um, hmm. Yeah, let's take a look at that after we save. Yeah, eight hours and four minutes. I think... I'm not sure if we can finish this up in the next stream. Uh, maybe we, if we go long with it, but I'm not entirely sure. For now, though, let's see. It's over there. That's the, that's the gate that uh, we had to let uh, page through by opening it from the other uh, side. Uh, may I hint, them, hint how you mean on what is going to happen or where to find something, you mean, HS? Hmm. Uh, waiting on you for a bit here, HS. Uh, I presume you're typing, so I won't... Uh, <clears throat> I'll give you a bit of time. To... Let's see. Uh, if you don't know, maybe I can hint them. Yeah, uh, hint at what, though, do, do you mean? Uh, so where, some, where the animals are, I presume? Because yeah, I already, I already know where the this one is. It, it'd just be a bit to run over towards it. Five on this map, one on this floor. Wait, I, wait, I, I missed this many. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I guess next time we'll be starting off with a bit of an animal hunt here because I feel a, a bit is insulted by myself missing those things. <laughs> You, you, you want a sandwich or a hug, Hillian? <laughs> uh, neither. For now, though, uh, let's double. Uh, let's do a safety save. All right, I give you some Klingon food instead, then. <laughs> and yeah, we're getting close to the game, like I said, and I'm not sure if we can fit. I, we're s just to be uh, certain, I'm going to presume that then we won't be able to finish up next time but we should be able to finish up in the stream after that so in two weeks we'll likely be starting with a different game if all goes to plan yeah so for now uh yeah <laughs> thank you anyone who has been watching now or later thank you for chatting along hs81 and 180 and of course, thank you as always, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah. Uh, I still have to contact the artist that I want to commission for some uh, Beyond Good and Evil uh, themed overlays. Uh, but it seems they're having a bad time, so I'll uh, have to hold on a bit on that. Uh, <clears throat> because, yeah, I wouldn't want to... Uh, I wouldn't want to inconvenience them when they're just having a bad, a bad time. Yeah. So for now, yeah, we'll we'll be seeing the last of this screen soon enough. But for now, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then, be safe, folks. Uh, oh wait, I I, for, I forgot for a moment the. The game still holds my mouse hostage, so I actually have to close it before I can end the stream with the macro keys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good night, everyone. Sleep well.